Hey, seventh grade art students. Um, this is Miss Lisa again, and I want to introduce you to your fourth project, your final project for the whole quarter, and it's going to be done in the media of collage. So if you've got magazines at home or any kind of craft paper or scrapbooking paper or tissue paper, packaging paper, just use whatever you have at home. And we're going to be looking at, um, we're going to be looking and thinking about clothes, but not just clothes as in the fabric, but clothes and what they can create and what they can do. And we're going to get imaginative with it. Now, before I do my demonstration, I just want to um, go over with you the story of the jingle dress, which um, probably was invented in around 1918, 1919, at the time of the Spanish influenza. And the story is told that there was an Ojibwe medicine man, a shaman, whose daughter was very sick. Now, because the story comes from this time, it's kind of implied that she may have had the Spanish influenza. And this medicine man um, prayed and had a strong dream that he was to construct a dress and that he was to sew small shells, one shell for every day of the year, 365 shells. And in the making of this dress and in the daughter wearing this dress, that she would be healed and then um, be able to dance in this dress. And so the story goes that that is exactly what happened. And this is called the jingle dress. And in fact, the young woman, the daughter was healed. Now, back in the day, a hundred years ago, they would have used um, the small shells and sewn them onto the fabric of the dress. But nowadays, rather than shells, um, Native American people at powwows who do the jingle dress um, use what are called like bells. And what they are is they're 10 lids of um, tobacco and they're rolled up into these beautiful cones. And when the jingle dress dancer dances, they clink together and have this beautiful percussive sound. So um, this, is, this is one way of like thinking of clothes as, transporting you and transforming you from being ill to being um, alive and very well. Then another image that I included for you in that um, document for this project was this beautiful black and white image of a couple in Harlem, New York. And James Van Der Zee is the photographer of this work, and he was a Harlem Renaissance black and white photographer. And his goal was to present middle class black America so that we would not just see the, the stereotypes of um, African American in this country that we would know that there are many educated um, African-Americans and creative African-Americans and beautiful African-Americans. So this is one of his photographs. And this photograph was actually taken in Harlem. And finally, the last artist that we're gonna look at, his name is Romare Bearden. And he um, was an artist more in the 1960s, but he also moved to Harlem, New York and he did beautiful collage work. And so that's one of our artists of inspiration is Romare Bearden. And um, there is an image of his work in your Word doc. And before this video is over, oh, here's an image right here. My name is on it. Um, this is Romare's work and it's called The Three Musicians because before Romare Bearden was a visual artist, he served in the military, he was a baseball player, he was a jazz musician, he was a true Renaissance man. And this is a close up of one of his collages because in his early years before New York, he used to live with his grandparents in a smaller town in North Carolina. Okay, now um, this is my final product. And um, 
And here it is. And my outfit is in two of my favorite colors. I love these two colors together, magenta and orange, because they're, they're just so saturated with color and they're so warm and lively. And then, um, you know, during these COVID times, I'm not really going out too much um, other than coming to work and going to the farmer's market. But I walk around my neighborhood a lot. And um, this piece right here, I actually found on the street when I was doing my walk. So I included that and kind of cut it down like a tunic. And then because my world has gotten pretty narrow in terms of where I'm going physically, I wanted to create a figure and have an outfit that is touching three worlds. So everywhere from the curves of the ocean to the land to the uh, curves of the clouds. So therefore I connected wings to my outfit also. And the materials I used were cardboard, um, magazine images, this thing that I found on my walk, and, um, and then some shiny origami papers in a couple of places. But I want you all to use what you have at home. I chose to outline my piece in black marker. Um, that's not necessary. I just thought it would make it pop because the negative space is kind of barren and I wanted to highlight all the shapes in my composition. I'm gonna do a short demo for you. And um, this one, the figure is going to be wearing, well, you'll see, and then we'll talk. So again, I've got a piece of cardboard, not as big as my final example, since this is just gonna be for the demo. After I drew everything in pencil, I'm going to come take a marker, kind of go over things. And um, one of the things I love to wear, I don't wear it at school, but I wear it at home, is overalls. I love overalls. And um, I just think they're so comfortable and fun. And my grandfather, he was actually a doctor, but his cousin had a farm. And so on the weekends, my granddaddy would work with his cousin Milton on the farm. And, um, and I actually inherited my grandpa's overalls. And then I have a couple other pair. I think I have like four or five pair of overalls. I love them. So here we are. And what I'm doing here, y'all, is um, I'm putting myself in overalls, but I'm gonna make my overalls kind of black and white because I feel um, it's, in this one, it's actually not gonna be my figure or me who's full of color, but the nature. And my husband does a lot of gardening. He's got like four raised bed gardens, and it makes me so happy to walk out in the back garden and see all those splashes of color. Even when I'm feeling kind of down or secluded or too confined, it, that helps me feel alive. So I will not do the whole, um, the whole thing for you, but I'll just do a couple of things. So you could either tear your paper or cut it, depending on what area you're working into or what style that you want. I'm gonna cut this for my overalls. And then just a glue stick, y'all. It's a little better than Elmer's, but if all you have is Elmer's at home, then that's just fine too. And then I'm gonna carry on with the black and white. And then I've got some, um, some magazines that have a lot of splashes of color and some of them have flowers and I'm going to collage some of those into the background. I think I want to put that in my hair. It's 
kind of big, but that's okay. And then um, and then I'll do a leaf right there. But you can see where we're going with this. So I want, um, I want you to have a figure with some kind of interesting clothing on. And then I want you to create something also in the negative space. And you can have some areas in the negative space where it's just blank or you can fill it. That's gonna be up to you. Okay, and then I'm going to continue on with it. And then I will do the um, black outline. Again, that's optional. So have a good time with this project. Use the materials that you have at home. You don't have to just use cardboard and the things that I do. Use what you have at home. Be creative. And I'll be assessing you on your creative concept, composition, how you use the space. Um, color and you can do a lot of this in black and white as well I, I can still evaluate that as color okay please please put um, uh, put collage project and your first and last name so I can track these okay all right I cannot wait to see what y'all turn in take care and have fun bye